I flip the world with no regret in And that's all profit Did it again, I don't need hate man I don't think they were ready for this one All right, so when buying the dip, not only do we use the candlestick charts, but we also use uh, level two and time and sales. Level two and time and sales are, or level two is a tool that traders use to see where buyers and sellers are looking to enter the market. So in this example right here, you see um, the bid side is the buyers and the ask side is the sellers. And when those buyers and those sellers meet at a price, a trade then occurs, a trade executes. But until they meet at that price, you know, they're just at odds trying to get the best price. They're trying to sell for more and these guys are trying to buy for less. It's always a constant battle. So when buying the dip, we want to we wanna look for the buyers on the bid side to begin to stack up and create what we call a wall of buyers. When the bids stack up at one particular price and the size of those bids starts to increase and at that price starts to jump up penny by penny or you know however it jumps up, we want that to happen because that shows that that area is supported. That price level is supported. There's no sellers getting below all those bidders, they'll have to sell a whole bunch of stuff to get through that wall of, wall of buyers. So right here in this example, I'm gonna let this YouTube uh, clip play. And basically you're gonna see the stock break down from the, the low twos down to the 180s. But I want you to particularly pay attention to how each price is grouped up, where, where the walls begin to form and also pay attention to the size. The size is how many shares they're trying to buy. And for this uh, particular application, um, the size, you add two zeros to it, and that's how many shares. So uh, this isn't two shares. This is 200 shares trying to be bought. This isn't um, five shares. This is 500. This isn't 55. This is 5,500. So you get a sense of how many buyers are at certain levels. But this video doesn't have any sound, but we're going to watch it play. So it starts off on um, the $2 area. It's pretty supportive. There's a lot of buyers right near the $2 area. But now you start to see that the size of the $2 area start to chip off. So it bounced up for a little bit. It's at 203. Now it's back to 202, and those buyers at 202 are disappearing. Now it's back down to $2, and those buyers are disappearing. Now $2 is going. It skipped completely over 199, went straight from $2 to 198. So the sellers seem to be in control. They're pushing the price down. As you can see, there's a bigger wall of sellers on this side right here than um, the buyers on the left side. So right now the stock is is dipping, it's selling off, it's selling off from 204, which was where it had where the high was, and it's selling it's selling off. It's back, it's under two dollars. Now it's down to 196. So if we had a chart uh, right now, you would see um, some consecutive red candles in the row um, as the stock drops to lower prices. You start to see it panicking. What we look for. So buyers at the 195 area are starting to get chipped through. You see the size getting smaller and smaller. Look how many, look at the wall at 196. There's a laundry list of people trying to sell at 196. And it's only this many people trying to buy at 195. 
it was 196. People are going to push the 195s out of the way. It's a it's an imbalance. Supply and demand. One ninety fives are gone. One ninety fours are gone. Now the buyers. One ninety threes are gone. One ninety twos are gone. Now they're at one ninety one. It's a good deal of buyers at one ninety one as of now. One ninety one is gone. That's a bunch of buyers at 190. But look at how the numbers are decreasing rapidly. So if I was trying to buy a dip, I wouldn't try to buy that because the numbers are decreasing too too fast. It's still selling off. 190s are gone. 188s. Now they're at 187, 186. 185, 184, you see my mouse, I'm, I'm starting to hit the buy right now. Cause look at the 180s, 181. Numbers start increasing at 181. Numbers start increasing at 181. You see in a flash of 182, 181, 182. That's the dip, that's the buy, is this your time to buy? You see how it can't get under 181? That's to start telling you, hey, you know, there's support here and it's starting to begin to bounce. So it went from 181, now it's back up to 183. Now it's up to 184. 185's right there. 186. So that's that's the bounce right there. And I think that's pretty much it. So the key takeaway on that level two is to watch when the selling starts to decrease the speed of the selling the acceleration of the selling starts to slow down and you want to see what number holds up the number that held up on this example was 181 they tried to break under 181 a few times and what did it do 181 soaked up all of those sellers and then it bounced up to 182. once you see it that uptick after all those consecutive down ticks once you see that one uptick you need to get in immediately. You need to get in at the ass. And that's how you take advantage of a panic like that. But that's why level two time and sales and time and sales is just basically a log that shows every trade that goes through in size. So they go hand in hand. But that's why level two and time and sales is so important. That market depth is so important because you can see where the buyers are waiting 